Welcome to Third Eye Visions, where we motivate the blind, stimulate your mind, and welcome all kinds. Today's topic, why minorities aren't successful on YouTube. Being a minority on YouTube. Check this video out. It was sent to me by three minority females, Jessica, Gabby, and Chelsea. Thank you all. Their links will be in the description. Listen as they discuss this topic with great, great anticipation. So, without further delay, let's get into the video. But make sure to subscribe. Make sure to hit the bell. Make sure to like, share, and comment. Let me know what you think about the video. Peace. That's right. We're on live. We're going to get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? To do this with you guys because I feel like YouTube is such a big platform and all three of us have our own channels you know and I really wanted to discuss the fact that in our community especially for blind people it tends to feel like there's this competition going on where people have you know a certain amount of subscribers or it's just like we're in a race trying to see who can who can get the most views or who can get the most subscribers and and i just feel like in a community like this where our end goal is all kind of similar that's why i feel like we need to really find a way for more of us to connect with one another whatever that may be i think it's it's relevant and I also think it's really difficult you know even before we filmed this video we have long conversations and we had a whole conversation about how you know the majority of youtubers that are blind are white and the majority mm -hmm. of them that have a lot of subscribers are white and there's something kind of like it's hard I mean for me as just someone I mean we're all people of color here to kind yeah. of find your voice and find your platform when you're constantly being told that, okay, what you're putting out isn't acceptable because of the color of your skin. And that's not, no one says that, but it's in the way but it's, that, like, yeah. the views that we don't get, comments that we don't get, shares that we don't get. And you look over and you see someone like Molly Burke, who is white and making it big. And you know, I kind of wonder a lot, like if Molly had been a person of color or a POC, would she have gotten this much fame? And the answer to that is 100% no, of course not. Mm -hmm. I understand, right. Um, I agree. Can I say something? Yeah, I was gonna, yeah. you were going in like a circle. Oh. Um, yeah. yeah, Chelsea, go okay, ahead. No, 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 um, you would've been gonna... next. Oh, okay, I was just gonna say that like, it, it takes a lot to make it in the industry being blind or being a woman or even being black in which we all three of us have all three of those things against us so it's it's not like i'm saying it won't happen but the chances are that's one in a million you know yeah, yeah. Um, I was talking to somebody the other day in one of the groups that me and, and Charles and Jess are in, and it was another person of color, another black person, and he was saying, you know, it's, it's true. A lot of the time on YouTube, the people who kind of gain more success are the people who are white. And so I think that for us, especially whether it be you're a person of color a blind person that is black or you know a person of color again it's like there's still this this racial profiling there's all of this discrimination that's already stacked against you and so i i i hate to see that there's people who are trying to shut other people down who are trying to do the same thing that they're doing, you know? Of course, we all have our own vision 
I say this all the time, you know, with us three, it's like, yes, we are best friends and yes, we argue and yes, we have our disagreements and yes, we are similar in so many ways, but the way that we approach the, how we deal with situations in our life, the way that we approach how we live our life with blindness is so different. But that doesn't mean that the three of us are competing with one another. You know what I mean? I mean, I feel like it's a competition, but it's so like, it also is kind of upsetting when you watch these prolific blind YouTubers. And mm -hmm. we talked about this a few days ago where it's like, they're there, but they don't acknowledge their privilege. And that kind of honestly really upsets me where I like Molly and I think she brings up a lot of relevant issues, but there are definitely times I wish she would say, like there was a video she made about like the struggles of blindness. And I'm not saying Uber denials aren't terrible. They are, especially with the service dog. But she didn't think to say, hey, I'm privileged because I have the ability to drive a car. I've hired someone to drive a car. I have this privilege. Or even with BLM posts, I want her to be able to be like, hey, I don't understand where you're coming from. And I appreciate you, but she's not. And, and even, you know, and it's sad because we are so marginalized anyway. And I know people that have like, blind people that have been approached by friends like oh i watched a molly berg video why don't you wear makeup like her like there's a standard and it's sad in a way that all these youtubers that are blind and very prolific are white and they exude this, this kind of i'm better than you i'm more like you know what i mean Yeah! <laughs>